What movie characters literally look like? Okay, this has to do with digital artist Brian J. Davis, and he used commercially available law enforcement software to produce the composites of these these book characters, right? So when you're reading a book, you imagine exactly what that character will look like, and then finally the movie comes out. Did the producers, did the studio do a good job casting the character to look at to look like what you thought originally when you were reading the book. That's not what I had in mind. So what he did is he used the author's original descriptions to compile the recreations. We're gonna look at the characters and his composites, but first let's do thoughts, five words or less. This makes reading fun. <laughs> Katniss was a bullseye. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> yeah. she's an archer. Results are sketchy. Interesting. I, Interesting. I don't. I don't understand how somebody could not be influenced. I know that they're not saying this is Katniss Everdeen, but I would imagine these are such well-known characters that if somebody's like, yeah, she looks like this, 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 I feel like that you might know. I feel like he might be influenced some way, somehow. Well, some things you can't unsee, bro. It seems like they did is, if it's, if it's how you create a composite with software, by descriptions, I think they go through and they say, if there's words in the text that say, uh, you know, thin face, big jaw, uh, black hair in a ponytail, um, whatever kinds of features that the author always puts in there, mm -hmm. and you then throw those in the same way that someone would say, you know, so you who, who attacked you? Uh, you know, they were kind of tall, they had a really like sunken features, and then it uses that to compose. So there's no way that there would be any any sort of like outside influence. He's going through a, a software, okay. so I think that. Let's I see think that, that's pretty, pretty random. Then it's yeah. pretty interesting then. Let's look, let's look. So we have, look at that, Katniss Everdeen, that's Beautiful. Insane. That's, that's like you said, you nailed yeah, the bullseye I'm, I right there. I love her. And then we have Jack's character from the Shining. Shining. Yeah, that's great. I really like that. Mm -hmm. This is how Jesus yep. looked versus how Willem Dafoe looks yeah. as Jesus in Last Temptation of the Christ. Um, just this one's the most of, but this that's great. This is exactly how I envisioned her, not only when I was reading the books, but also when I saw the movie. So I thought this was spot on on both. Mm. And then we have here, I don't know this character. Psycho, this is Anthony Perkins oh. as Norman Bates in Psycho. Really? Versus how he's described in the movie, or in the book. And uh, for this one, it, and this isn't even like from the original Psycho, that photo. This, Anthony Perkins is a, is a handsome man. That's the mm. thing is they went with like a handsome, like, a charismatic boyish. boy and yeah, yeah. young boyish mm -hmm. looking person as opposed to now like when I think serial killer murderer I do think the guy on the left. Yes. Oh my god. Absolutely. So, so much of a serial killer right there. Loopy. Here. This is Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Wow. Yeah, I like the Frankenstein on the left as opposed to like what we've what we've come to know about I like, like the, the Frankenstein on the left. Yes, yeah. it's more eerie, humanized, it's scary. Ugh. But it's it's humanized, but also it's not fully, there's something off about it, yeah. which I like. You see it in the eyes. It's way more subtle. This one was really great, too. This was from Fight Club. This is um, Marla Helena Singer Bonham and Carter. Yeah. See, that's crazy to me. I was thinking there had to be some sort of outside influence to really nail all of those, mm -hmm. but there's a science to it. Yeah. I wish they'd done Daisy from Great Gatsby, because that's one of those Ooh, literary yeah. characters. They did. That there's one out there. there. You one? can go okay, find Okay, okay. You mentioned, what was it, the Norman Bates character? Yeah. They cast him much more attractive. Yeah, just like a, ha he's like a handsome, good-looking mm -hmm. guy. I mean, I understand why the studios do that, but as when it comes to a character that's so widely known in our imaginations, in books, I don't know if that necessarily serves the picture. Christian Grey is another one where- He did not remind me of Christian Grey at all. What was the no. difference in your mind? What did you think of the Christian Grey from the books? Because the composite they make through this is actually more in the direction of what I think is wrong with the casting they did. Um, what, what are you sense. thinking? Uh, in that he's he's looks stringier. I imagine him lean, but yeah, not not like stringy. I imagine him lean, yeah. but I don't know. That one just didn't nail it for me. Well, but... I don't think the casting in in Fifty Shades, not to get like too off topic, was. I don't think anyone thought it was super great. Yeah. I don't think that Anastasia was. No, that didn't remind didn't me really of Anastasia nail. either. The point of Anastasia is just like, what the fuck? Why is she in here? Because it's like this, f like, faptastic fantasy of someone who couldn't also, get Christian Grey. You also want to see two like really sexy people like doing it. Mm. Yeah, I guess I'm always <laughs> in favor of that.
<laughs> I love this. I love this uh, exercise, though. Yeah. Because you get to go through and say, like, if you didn't read the book, well, the computer read the book, and mm. now you get to compare. I think they did a good job. I think the most uh, stark difference in all of this is stuff something that like has the most influence on humanity, and that's the idea of what Jesus Christ looked like. And they're like, no, still white guy. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Right. But everyone white, does it. A little bit blonde. Good. I know. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I still like, can't get over. Uh, Katniss Everdeen, because she's such a great actress too, Jennifer Lawrence. So mm -hmm. you know that she wasn't cast just to look like Katniss. This is also an incredible actress, but they nailed it. I wonder if the studios ever utilize stuff like that to try and create a well-rounded character that most people that are the read the books identify with. The studios have algorithms of their own on how to create a box office yeah. franchise. Like that, mm -hmm. they just go like, uh, this person plus large Right, you know, but you budget. know that when it came to casting Harry Potter, they saw Daniel Radcliffe and they're like, are we just done now? We're yeah. done, right? I We're know. good. That's him. Hermione, like, too. I really imagine yeah. Hermione. Yeah. And, and Ron Weasley. Yeah. If you want to see like an awesome movie that you know and how the casting session went and you get to see it, watch uh, the audition for Elliot in E.T. Because at the end of it, Spielberg literally goes, "You got the job." Yeah, no I love way. That's he's, it. He's oh, he's so sobbing. He's like, sobbing. "Kid, you got the job. It's okay." Okay, you guys, please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, check us out on Watchable.com.